Hi. Oh my god, we're back. I feel like it's been a long, a good long time since we've sat down yeah, together. Done properly. Done a little sit down video. So today, we're coming at ya with a good old fashioned thrift haul. We're so excited because we've recently gotten back into thrifting and it's been so much fun. Oh my god, a blast and a half. Also, the small town thrift scene is... Elite. So if you're new here and you do not know who we are, my name is Aline. My name is Michelle. And we are two 20-something sisters. That's right, sisters, not lovers, as some as some commenters tend to get confused. We usually live and work in New York City, but that has been put on pause due to COVID. And in that time we have temporarily returned to our hometown of Missoula, Montana. So that's that's where we've been, just just living life. What do you do? What's your what's your deal? I work in social media marketing for a beauty brand and my office is remote until the new year so just hanging out here making YouTube videos vlogging a lot and uh, just enjoying the great old outdoors when there isn't smoke in the air yeah cuz right now there's a crimson Sun that gleams <laughs> off my face look at that and I usually am an actor comedian and writer uh, pursuing the dream in New York City while working in restaurants but um, I'm not doing that anymore I am back working at my hometown bakery we do have to say a quick disclaimer if you are going to thrift during these videos very, very scary times. Make sure to inquire at your local thrift store what the regulations are. We only felt safe going when masks were mandated in uh, Missoula because before they were not. Um, so that was questionable and we would not set foot in the Goodwill if there weren't masks required. Usually at our local Goodwill there's a lot of room between each person yeah. and everyone's wearing masks and we feel like good about it. We don't go all the time. No, you know? we, we've literally been like, what, twice together? Yes. Twice. We've gone twice. Still, maybe don't go like every day to your local Goodwill. Maybe, you know, space it out based off your uh, necessities. Also, if you are thrifting, make sure that you are replenishing the resources from which you take, especially since a lot of people, that is the, the only way that they can afford, you know, clothes, Seriously. furniture, glassware. Let's make sure that we're also like giving back at the same time so that we're not just being like, oh, I left you the dregs. Yeah, Thank let's you. not them. suck up all the resources that lower income households have. I do think that it is amazing that thrifting has become so popular yeah. and it does reduce the amount of clothing that ends up in the landfill. Help the planet. Anyway, anyway. I am the Lorax and I am in tears every day of my life. Literally as the crimson sun shines down on us. So we like hate to see it change. kids. Anyway, face. let's get in to this fun thrift haul. It's going to be a good one. We found some really cute pieces and we're really yeah, so over the moon excited we about We actually them. filmed this video twice. All the footage was horrible quality. Shitty. It was bad. Terrible quality and terrible lighting. So Ugly as hell. Hopefully this looks all right. So what is the first thing that you want to share today, Aline? My things are being crazy. The first thing that I want to share are these two little glasses. As wow. I said, there's so much to love about Goodwill, including... They're like what a dollar ninety nine glassware section. So you find some amazing things. Like. I got these. I think the traditionally. I think this is t traditionally nice tea like glass. And this is, I, I know this is a beer goblet, um, but not for me. This is what I drink my cold brew out of every morning. So I am a big fan. I also think it makes me look quirky to have like such cute little pieces for my morning cup. But also I gotta say, there's something really nice about it because it makes it feel special. Not just your grandmother's glass, you know, like that would be the tagline if it were an ad. Very cool. I'm thank you for your thank you for your thoughts. So the first thing I want to share is actually two sets. Ooh. So four in total. So Very you're getting famous. quite a bang for your buck here. They are these super super cute gingham sets. I love them. They come in two colors, black and then a nice like beige, we which we it. love. And the top is a little short sleeve button up. This Ooh. definitely used to belong to an old woman at some point in time. But I like to style it in a way that I think like makes it a little bit more modern, more current, if also, you will. You're tripping if you don't think that the old women have the, they do. the best style. They do. Super light, super flowy. The pants are this super cute crop wide leg. They're a little short, but I think I make them work. They have an elastic waistband and they're so comfy. It feels like wearing pajamas. And again, I have them in two colors, so I had to scoop them up. They were like, $3.99 per set. That. I wear them tucked in, I wear them loose, I wear them separated, I wear them tied in a little wear them together. 
yeah, wear them together, wear them separate. You can style them so many ways, and they've been like my favorite piece. They look of so the good on you. Thank y'all. Before we continue with this lovely haul, we do want to shout out a brand that we've been loving recently. This video is very kindly sponsored by Ana Luisa. Ana Luisa is an incredibly classy jewelry brand. Not that just classy, is guys. Top tier. Yeah, <laughs> top tier. We're wearing their jewelry today. Oh, look, so stunning. We were blown away by the beautiful selection that they have, and it was honestly very hard to pick, but we have some, like, necklaces going on here. I have this beautiful, like, layer situation. I have this elven thing. Yeah, it looks like Lord of the Rings, but in a very chic way. I just... Ain't that the goal? <laughs> I know it's not everybody's goal. Not every girl's goal is to be... Frodo, but, but it's your me. goal. But it's my goal. It's this girl's goal. We've also got some hoops on. I have this really cute pair of simple hoops that I was in desperate need of, honestly. And I have this super, super cute hoop on. Yes. Which, what would you say? It's a twisty... What is yeah, it? I think they're called their twisted hoops, but Isn't that they're the just cutest so thing chic. I've ever heard. Exceptional tarnish-free quality without the luxury markup, so their jewelry starts at $39, which I think is so reasonable. Especially because they are su a sustainable brand. They have yes. incredible sustainability to goals see it. and also prioritize the planet when they're making their jewelry, which mm -hmm. is, let's be honest, it's not what you get from every company. Yeah, and it's really hard right now when you're trying to be more conscious about where you shop, when you kind of like peek, up, peek under the hood at most places and you're just like, oh. I don't like it. I don't like what I'm <laughs> seeing. They are based in Brooklyn. We love to see it because uh, home away from home, am I right? And also, they have a goal to be net zero by the end of 2020. That is mm -hmm. so soon. That is so soon. It's amazing. So much more than so many companies are doing. So, um, again, we applaud you. And Luisa, also, check out my chain. I'm kidding. But also, no. Are also, you jealous? please do. Please do. I am glowing. <laughs> of course, we had to get you guys a deal so you can get 10% off your first purchase with the code that we are putting up on the screen right now and we'll link them down below as well so you can check out the beautiful selection that they have which is like striking. Let's see what we picked up next. So these next things that I'm going to be sharing are something that I'm really into mm, period. I'm going to share with you all three of them because they all fall under the same category and that is <gasps> ooh sweater vests. Ooh, oh my god am I Joe Chandler March. Bing? Oh my god that's better. That's better. I would much rather be Joe March than Chandler Bing. Let's go down the line and just like take a look at these sweater vests. I have three. So this first one is very Frodo Baggins to continue the Lord of the Rings conversation. I mean, this is definitely corduroy and not a sweater, but go off. Fine, a corduroy vest, but you get it. Vests. Fine. Vests! Um, anyway, it has the perfect slouchy fit. It is uh, definitely a vest to love. I love the color. It's gonna go with so much of my wardrobe. I love the ring, the ring imagery. Can you tell that Alina has just watched Lord of the Rings for the first time? Um, I, that's not true. I watched Lord of the Rings when I was five, and that's why I never watched okay, it again. you watched a scene. Yeah, but it was, <laughs> there was the Schmeagle transformation scene. Just kidding, it was just when Schmeagle was going fishing. This is from CJ Banks, and I think that this was probably like $4.99. I think they were $5 each. Yeah. Love this one. This next one I got at a vintage shop that was more curated, and it was $15. So still definitely on the affordable side, but not as affordable as Goodwill, but that's what you get, I guess, when you go to a more curated, um, curated experience. It's still, like, so much cheaper than New York. Yeah. Do you ever go, like, in New York, this would be $60? Yeah, at, <laughs> no joke, at the Goodwill that I used to go to in Brooklyn, I got things for $15, and it wasn't even like a hip curated space. Whoa. Doesn't it remind you, Sandra Bullock in Practical Magic and or Meg Ryan in uh, When Harry Met Sally, can you see it? Yes. I just need like a bowler hat and like a black shorty like dress or a cool trouser and like, we love done. it. Uh, I'll post a picture of me wearing it here. Yeah, Aline Styles is very cute. It's true, I feel like people do doubt me a lot, but I, it's okay, although my instincts um, are not always great, like my taste in romantic partners. Um, my taste in clothing nowadays has been popping. It's been so impeccable. Thank you. That's very nice of you to say. My last and final sweater vest is one that I think might puzzle some people. Um, and that's well, okay. It's controversial. <laughs> this is a controversial pick. Um, and that is this leafy guy. Now you might say, Aline, you're not Irish, you're Hispanic. And to that I say you are correct, but these are not for leaf clover, my friend. This is a casual forest leaf. 
And um, that's 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 that. This is not for a leprechaun. This is for anybody who wants to put this on their body. I'm gonna wear this under any tree I can find this fall, and you'll catch me reading um, a book. Maybe my 1960s old copy of The Hobbit. It, this video, it, we promise, is sponsored by Anna Luisa, not <laughs> they are totally good. So this was like $4.99. Next, I have a couple T-shirts that I picked up recently from Goodwill. First is this beautiful beige boy, large beige boy. This this, and I use boy in a gender neutral sense. Yeah. It's this champion t-shirt from the men's section and I just, I've already worn this so much. I love the shade beige. I love a like beige cream white color palette overall. And this was just such a good find. I yeah. love the sleeves. I love the length and it's really cute and yeah. fun. And because you already own so much beige in your closet, I feel like it allows you to make do like so many monochrome looks. And the men's section is a great place to find pieces in general. I was going to say t-shirts, cool but... Who finds good t-shirts in the women's the section? The women's section, They're all the cut blouses like this. are so Sings ugly. Cut. Tiny silk tank tops. Like, why don't they have normal shirts there? I don't know. I don't you know. really have to dig. So the men's section is a great place to dip your toe into. And they're usually cheaper because sexism. We're so, benefiting off mm -hmm. of that, so it's fine. Oh. The next one is this pop of color. We've got a pop of color in the mix. Ooh, some sweet, sweet lime. We've got some lime. It's kind of an unpractical color. So that is when thrifting is great. It's to try out different trends. Yeah, wonderful catalyst to be able to do that. It's I used to so do that with fun. fast fashion. I used to think like, mm -hmm. oh, I want to try out this trend, so I'll just buy it like really quickly from like whatever Forever Twenty One. Place. And then I realized I can do the same thing via thrift. So. Exactly, and it's from Lands End, very good quality. This was again from the men's section. Probably these two t-shirts were like a couple dollars, maybe three dollars. So a great find, very soft, and I think it looks really cute. Like tucked in or like tied a little bit at the bottom. <laughs> Very fun. So we'll see how I style this. Follow both of us on Instagram to see how we style all of these pieces. Yeah, sometimes I don't post, but sometimes I do. <laughs> the magic of social media. Winter is coming. A very outdated reference. This is 2016. Maybe I'm back in the same house. I only needed a coat. Kill Caprice. It is a red coat with plaid detailing. It is magenta, with, but you know. It's red. We've been through this. It's slightly more raspberry, but this is a, a pink. I mean, sure, a raspberry, a raspberry. Pink. It's all red. What? Who goes? Raspberry pink. Okay, it's raspberry, raspberry red. Pink. It's raspberry red. Raspberries are red. This jacket is not. Anyway, to bundle up, I have this raspberry red jacket to cover myself and keep it's myself very warm. very 90s. I like it it's a lot. It's very 90s, which continues with the theme. I think this was like seven dollars, so a little bit it's pricier, crazy. but it's in great condition. I believe this is a men's jacket. Or was it a ladies? <laughs> anyway, it's really cute. I can't wait to uh, bundle up in this for the fall months. I think it's going to be a real look. Also good because I got a coat that didn't cost me because all, all my clothes are 2,000 miles away. I got this really fun cottage core gown. I had to make her get this, which is so dumb because it looks so good. I mean, thank you. But I mean, I was, I was like questioning it because I was like, is this really the direction I want my style to go into? But you know, just a reminder that you can have different facets of your style that you play with on the daily depending on your mood. You don't have to just like check one box and uh, go on and on your How way. How boring. So boring. How boring darling. Anyway, it's super cute. Gingham again. I love gingham. This is from Erica Studio, which I looked it up and it's apparently like a very like 90s brand. So that's oh, interesting. I wouldn't have guessed. I know. It looks older than that, but you know, know. maybe one of the witches would have worn it on like Buffy. Great little like embroidery of these cute little flowers. And I think that with a cardigan, this would look very folklore. So love we it. love that. And this was probably like, what, like seven, five, seven dollars? I think it was probably like six. Something that we got that are eerily similar are these beige <laughs> shorts. Almost like a... Uh, like Bermuda yeah. kind of shorts. These are we never thought we'd see the day. I never thought. These are definitely the kind of shorts that our mom wore growing up. And I remember just being like, oh good, oh mommy, you're so unfashionable. And now we're just like, trendy. Where are my thick thighed people at? Because my God, the chafing is so annoying. And I gotta tell you, this is the one summer where I said, I'm not gonna do it. You know, cause mm -hmm. quarantine was happening. And I was just like, when I go outside, I am in a constant state of disarray because of the state of this planet. Yeah. And you know what I don't want to be worried about? My thighs rubbing together. And you know why my thighs were rubbing together? 
because I kept wearing tiny, yes. tiny shorts. Tiny shorts. Boom, you lengthen Big the leg. shorts. No problems here. None at all. They look so good on both of us. I love a big short. I think it's such a look. And, and these are Lee. Mine are not Lee. Mine are Cabin Creek, but also good. But good. We both have pleats. We have little pleats in the front. We um, have a tortoiseshell so button cute. detailing. Some nice little tortoiseshell button detailing. And really good quality. They don't feel used at all. Another great way to experiment with trends without breaking the bank. Yes. These were like five five dollars. Yeah. Five dollars. Five dollars. So um I got this in the men's section, which I'm all about. Honestly, somebody some dad, I'm assuming. Or granddad. Very fashionable granddad. Yeah, definitely brought in like all of his um like polo shirts. And I have been really eyeing ones from Urban Outfitters, like probably all summer long. But to be fair, I'm trying to shop less at Urban Outfitters. Like don't get me wrong, I'm I'm looking for progress, not perfection from myself and from others. You know, I just wanna try a little bit harder. Yeah, we can all just like do our part, our best. But then I found this, and it's honestly cuter than all the stuff it's that I was so looking at cute. on the internet. It reminds me a little bit of like, I was gonna say Steve from Blue's Clues, but then I realized it looks like nothing. Like, <laughs> Steve wears like, on Blue's Clues. Before? I have, I saw a lot of him. I love the subtle stripe, mm -hmm. I love the coloring. Um, honestly, it reminds me of something that like a cartoon tur turtle would wear. <laughs> <laughs> Have I made it? Um, anyway, I throw this on in a cool morning when I have to be up early for work, and we're talking like 5.36 a.m., you guys. I'll just throw this on over whatever I'm wearing that day, because the time I leave work, it will be, you know, hot. But when I Great have this piece, cozy. it was $3.99, so very, very cheap. And it's I kind of so wish cute. that I would bought more in its family, but... Alas, there's always next time. You live and you learn to take one step at a time. Jordan Sparks. I love this shirt. I have to say, if I had to pick, like, you know how a cartoon character has one outfit that they always yes. wear, that they're always Timmy wearing? Turner. Yeah. Um, Timmy Turner vibes. I, a button up is 100% just my look of choice. I think that there's just something so beautiful about a crisp, button down and I think that it's timeless but also has like a really like funky edge to it you can wear it like a jacket you can wear it like a shirt so it's this beautiful like creamy beige Scandia Woods brand Ooh, Scandia shirt 100% cotton another men's section find and I'm in love tortoiseshell buttons nice little pocket detailing and I just love it man it's so cute I love it it looks like a it's little so painter's cheap. work jacket you know mm -hmm. it just feels like you would be Annie and Hallie's mom from Parent Trap, like having a ooh, painting Elizabeth day. Elizabeth James? Elizabeth James, I say. I have something very similar in that bang, which really? is, ooh, ta-da, a beige boy. Um, it is a felt. Suede. Suede. Felt. <laughs> it feels. You got some, like, lipstick on it or something. When? Lipstick or jam? That's the question. Usual Taylor's little we'll time. Never know. It's kind of like a goldy situation. Yeah. Um, and I really like it. The suede makes it feel expensive. I'm not gonna lie. It makes it feel pricey. Mm -hmm. And I originally, probably it was. It was probably pricey. Yeah. This, Very elevated. This piece from Mark Edwards. Ooh, he's suede and I have no idea. <laughs> but Mark does not have a K. It has a C, which we all know is like. That's, That's a much different vibe from a K. Mark with a K, you want to date. Mark with a C, you want to wear. Oh, Mark with a K, <laughs> with the C, you want to be. <laughs> you want his fortune. You want his suede. <laughs> you want his sweet, sweet suede. I love this piece, honestly. I You can throw it over most things and it just kind of works. Also, deceptively warm because it's suede. It's because it's suede, so it traps heat in a different way than like a, a cheapo piece of cloth. And the other day I didn't know what to wear, just threw it on and I was like, I don't know what to wear under it. And then I just buttoned it up and I was like, oh, this. And I look like a very, very, very sexy bisexual pirate. Mm -hmm. And when I tell you that's the goal at all times, I do mean it. The end. I think it was probably like five dollars, six dollars tops, and that was another men's section find. Yes, it was. An, it was. I'm gonna stick with the boys. Me. I'm gonna stick with the boys section. Next, let's talk about blazers. Blazers are a piece that is very untapped in my 
wardrobe as an opportunity for style okay, you've never that worn I have a not sought out. I have one blazer, but it's not that good. I don't remember it. It's like plaid, but look, it's kind of like, of it. it's not oversized enough. Uh, I know what you mean, it's more like slim slim fit. Yeah, more of a slim fit, more of a tailored look. And I, when I tell tailored you look. that the amount of blazers that I have pinned on my style board on Pinterest is probably, it, it probably outnumbers any other piece. Wow. I when I think about my style and what I want it to look like, I really do love like a smart, um, elevated like workwear vibe. Which is like I don't know much, but I know I'm wearing a blazer. Yes. I don't know much, <laughs> much about my future, but I know I'm wearing a blazer. Every time I've typed blazer into the old Google search, into Google shopping, they're always so expensive. Yeah, and yucky. They're they're not that great, and then if they are okay, like they're so yeah, expensive. Yeah, the one okay one is a million dollars, yes. you know, and you're like, that is my entire net worth. I did find some nice blazers in the men's section. I have this one, and it is black, and it's so cool. Dakota Johnson is one of my main style muses, as as she should be. She should be everybody's style yes. muse, and not just style muse, but also muse. Like, yeah, I in look at pictures of Dakota Johnson and like in I, my free time. I hear her speak, and I'm like, now I'm inspired to write the next great American novel. I you love know? her. I worship her. Um, so I have a nice black one, very oversized, and uh, so chic. I think that a black blazer is such an essential. And then you also have got to have. A navy. I'm just so excited to see what you do with these in the big city. You yes, know, like exactly. Obviously, right now it's kind of hard. It, However, I did make a great TikTok with this navy guy. Oh, and, um, you should go watch. This one I think is like a is Nordstrom. Yeah, this one is from hey. Nordstrom Men's. Wow. So very nice. Barely used. And I love this one. This one is my favorite. It has just like such a nicer fit, I think. And it also has these really fun silver buttons on the sleeve. I love menswear and I want it to still look like menswear. Yeah. These probably were like a little bit more expensive. I would say probably like 10 bucks each, maybe. Maybe a little less, honestly. Our men's clothing is hashtag gifted on all times. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't know if you can tell from like my general attire right now by this hand painted uh, cat button up. But I love a funky button up. Uh, I have two here, some two new ones for myself. We love this it. This one is a long sleeve. Um, this one's been rolled this up. This literally looks like an Urban Outfitters shirt. It looks like an Urban Outfitters shirt. And I promise you it's not. It's also straight up Wranglers, you guys. Yeah. A proper, like, what a bougie fine. cowboy brand. Yeah. I am shook. Um, one thing is that I don't necessarily love how shiny these buttons are, but at the same time, I think it kind of works, you know? Because yeah. it, it does kind of give it this almost western um, vibe western vibe but also like this glitzy vibe where you're just like not just your mother's cowboy <laughs> why does my mother have a cowboy why that's between her and the cowboy <laughs> uh, <laughs> anyway absolutely j'adore dior i love it so much i wear it not often enough honestly but also it's been hot so i'll give myself a free pass can't wait to wear it every single time i look at it i go hub -hub -hub. If you look closely, you'll see some yellow detailing, which I do, which I do like. Yeah, a nice little thread of mustard. Yeah. The next shirt is very similar because it's also red. But ba bam, short sleeve. Um, I have a very similar shirt from Urban Outfitters in a. It also has paisleys, but it's more like a brown purple situation. Y'all, you guys have seen it. I literally came out in it. Basically, the exact same. The only difference is the quality is better, and it was literally a fraction of the price. Yeah. So that's what we love about this kind of situation. Um, the there are skulls on it, which just does seem rather menacing. I don't think they're skulls. Oh, they're like a leaf. What does that they're say about your psyche? <laughs> they look like skulls. I will have. To, I do have to say. I did have to take a second glance to make yeah. sure. It's also from a Crazy Horse brand. It's called Crazy Horse. A Liz Claiborne company. Ah, oh, Liz Claiborne. Liz Claiborne held no punches. She was like, "I am a horse girl." Hashtag Crazy Horse. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, looks divine. Also, looks divine on me. It does. Which is the most important thing. Um, three ninety nine, four ninety nine, somewhere around there. Let's, let's show our last items, Michelle. How about okay, it? Okay, let's show our last items. You made it through. Thank you. I feel like we are chaotic in this video, but hopefully you enjoyed it. I'm slightly manic, um, but isn't it fun? I think it's because we are so tired, slightly mentally ill because of the environment yeah, and the, the state smoke, of the world. The smoke. And we. this is the second time we're filming this video, which is kind of it's annoying. It's hard for morale. <laughs> it's hard for morale. It was hard for me to film this, uh, honestly. Also, we both had a full work day. Yeah, it's a Monday. Yeah. So. I hate Mondays. Hashtag Garfield. I am Garfield. Garfield is me. I love lasagna. <laughs> Are you surprised that it is another button-up? <laughs> 
I don't think no. so. Uh, another beautiful beige piece. This is definitely more of a camel. Um, which yeah, I, I see love. no difference, honestly. I love. I mean, these are two very different colors. Like, this this one, is basically white. This, this is, is like a brown. cream. This is a cream. This is a more of a brownie shade. Uh, Faded Glory. We love to see it. I like that brand. I've worn yeah. that before. This just makes me feel like Nick Parker and Elizabeth James combined. <laughs> wow. So chic. And I like I literally could I could wear this in the woods, but I could also wear it like on a, a foggy morning in my home, or I could wear it like very chic with like a trouser. Push I through. could wear this open as a layering piece, or I could wear it buttoned up and like kind of like tied. It would be super chic. My last piece was found by my personal shopper, Michelle Duflock Williams. Here is this phenomenal witchy gown from JMS collection. Sure. It's so cute. It's like almost like a, a Linen blend, it feels like. I mean, sure. It also feels like almost like near flannel territory. Yeah, honestly, you're right. On the finger, and there are some really cute buttons on the side. The Sandra Bullock and Practical Man Magic Energy. Like, I see this, I immediately think of Cottage Core TikTok. That's so I good. I think he's delivery service energy. Ding, ding. Ding, ding. I love it so much. That's the actual Kiki's delivery service also, I theme. Just, I, I thank you for that. Yeah. Um, I love a like maxi or midi length dress. I'm not into short dresses anymore. I, I just, just this is so comfortable. Nice... This is a literal sack. These are pajamas. I think like, it's so chic. I think it's so effortless. Kidding me? I wore this to the farmers market and I was, I think, the envy of all. The envy of the town. I'm gonna say, say what I'm gonna say. There's that beautiful quote from uh, Cottage Core TikTok which says, "And always keep rosemary by your bed," which is from uh, which is from Practical Magic. And I just, I just want to so be cute. like a modern witchy girl. I do. Mm -hmm. I do. And uh, yeah, this will help me achieve that look and then all my dreams will come true. So who who would say no to that? This was probably, what, six dollars? Yeah. This was at the very back of the Missoula Goodwill. That's where I also found my matching sets. It's where those hideous prom dresses are. Yeah. But like, you can find some really cute stuff. Like, if you think it's almost yes. like a miscellaneous section. Exactly. They put pajamas there for mm -hmm. that sake. It's like pajamas to prom dresses to robes. Like, you need to, like, sift through. And I think that's the best thing about thrifting is it's kind of like a treasure hunt. And you do have to be patient. And you do have to be in the mood to look. But you can find some really good things, as hopefully you've seen. Um, we're so excited to style these throughout, like, the rest of this, like, in between summer and fall period and then into the fall and winter yeah. and onward so for the rest yeah, of our lives very excited um so we hope you guys enjoyed this thrift haul uh, let us know down below if you did and give us a like because apparently giving a video a thumbs up helps you in the algorithm and we, god knows the algorithm hates us yeah the well, <laughs> algorithm has hated us for like uh since i was 15. the youtube algorithm has been consistently hiding our videos since 2013. Yeah, this is us with the YouTube <laughs> algorithm. It's more like YouTube to you guys. So please do make sure to give this a thumbs up. It does count, especially when we're a smaller channel. And it'll be sure to put a smile on our face. Yeah, big toothy grin on this end, you know? Mm -hmm. You can follow us on Instagram if you ever want to see how we end up styling these pieces. Mm -hmm. Or if you want to keep up with our regular shenanigans. We are moderate to severely fun people. So I would I would give us a give us a little gander. Give us a gander. Also, our stories are really good. Yeah, listen, I... Post infrequently and erratically, and I don't know if I like it, but I my stories are really fun. Yeah, and they're really cute. I feel like we're most present on stories. Yes. So tune into those. Um, again, mom, you you've watched this video. Congratulations for watching the whole thing. Thank you. My name is Aline, <laughs> and I am Michelle, and we will catch you in the next one. Bye. Bye.